Welcome back everyone, RockerZCR9 here, and we're here with more Alan Wake. So, let's see. I'm trying to remember, it's been a couple of days. Uh, last time, I believe... <sighs> oh yeah, we were being chased by the cops. And, yeah. Now we gotta fight possessed cars and whatnot. Uh, oh, flashbangs are a thing. So yeah, that's pretty cool, but yeah. And then, uh, yeah, now we woke up in the crazy place. And apparently we've oh, been here groggy. the whole time. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. There were only empty sheets of paper here. No manuscript pages. Looks so pretty outside. I'm not gonna lie. Like, outside doesn't look too bad. And like, a lot of the physics stuff is not bad either. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So <laughs> sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. The lip sync actually right. looks That's the pretty decent. You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint mm. you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. Yeah, I bet. Dick. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery Let process here room. at Cauldron Lake Lodge. <gasps> I specialize room. in treating artists. Nothing? Aww. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. This way, Alan. Where are you at? Okay, there we go. What's over here? Gotta find all the goodies. Gotta find all the goodies. Uh, won't let me find all the goodies. You suck. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned, and you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy Actually, let me see scenario all... in which your writings are affecting uh, reality. Uh, You've been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. Let's see. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying, but under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. I'm sorry. Screw following you. I want to find that thermos. Where's that thermos? No thermos down here? Oh, that's sad. Oh. Are you actually going to come this way? Well, guess it's what? All in your head. Boom. You've been making Swerved. Get swerved on. A tragic accident with your wife. Get swerved no on. Oh, come on. Your Seriously? delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you. I saw a thermos. I'm going to get to that thermos. Get to that thermos if it's the last thing I do. Seriously. Stupid gate. Meh. Can I just run? Can I, like, run? Oh, I press that button to recenter the camera. Cool. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct mm -hmm. is to resist me, but think about it. 
Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a I'm skeptic sorry. by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained yep. logically. Here's the thing. Unless you've actually seen what I've seen, I wouldn't talk if I were you. I could just push you over this mountain, this mountainside right now. <sighs> There's no Never one out here. Tired of this it's view. just you and me. Very inspiring. Isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below mm. us. I could see near a nice. peak on the other side of the Here, lake. Let me get you I a thought closer I could look. make out the spot where <clears throat> Divers yeah. Isle had been when I Push arrived you over the Alice. edge. Now there was nothing but waves. I want to like club you in the back of the head and then just like it seems throw you over. there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. It's because the well, darkness wants my soul. This way, follow me. Doctor, the darkness wants Alan, my soul. What I'm telling you is good news. Right now, we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not ha, surprising, ha, ha, ha. considering your profession. Imagination ha, is what ha, you work funny. with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. All, Hartman obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly yourself. inside my head. But I, can't I dug my nails into the palms of my now. hands to stay you focused. To work. <laughs> Once you accept that, I love how I'm just like I'm monologuing to myself while this guy is out loud monologuing to literally no one because I'm not paying attention. Come along. Let's go inside. <gasps> I see you up there, Thermos. You gonna be mine. Come on, come on. Oh, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. Scary, you were impressed scary, by my trophy when I first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, <laughs> man versus nature. It's wonderful. <laughs> Damn wonderful, yeah. <laughs> what does this do? Yeah, that's right. I got you. I want to like shoot. Emerson. Good. I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me and Let's go. I want to punch your lights out. Please. Emerson. <laughs> Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. <laughs> yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind oh of dream you God, have or when great. you have it. Emerson. Okay. Okay. So oh, that's here. beautiful. Yeah. I think that is literally the best moment I think I've had so far. La, 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 Give it that, Dermis. Is he seriously being like elbow struck? Oh my god. I think I'm done with these crazy people. I'm not crazy like these guys are. I don't sit here and try to. Um, please, this way. Mine. That's my Thermis. Okay, so my only crazy Come thing on. is I obsessively way, look for. You might have noticed the typewriter in your room. <laughs> you want to try to go kung fu on me, boy? Let's go. To it, go kung fu on me. Okay, let's go kung fu. Let's go. <laughs> oh, this is great. I think this has made me happy more than anything else. Ooh, what about you? <sighs> Oh, hello. I've painted you. Oh, let me knock that painting over. Okay. Aww. I was just cool. struck by inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his own... That's not a storm. That's the darkness. Darkness imprisoning me. All that I see. I salute Harvard. I'm the guy I live. Oh boy. How could I live? How could I My rheumatism's killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm. <laughs> I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers. <laughs> Odin and Tor. They had a... How should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. Yeah! They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. Yeah! After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. 
they're well cared for, TLC and all that, there's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Oh my god. Smack oh, your hammer. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue I hope this. The soon. darkness kills you. Meanwhile, when you Dr. feel Hartman. up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? Can I write how you die, please? I want to write how you die. I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. No, oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's that makes the sense. thing I've heard in a while. That make, yeah, that's... <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we to forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. Good job, old man. You guys are my best friends. My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Good job, guys. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him, but there was fear too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He too had a way with words. Tom, you got any booze on you? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, we have guys. a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Our own formula. Local ingredients. Medicine clears your head right up. Makes you remember like moonbeams on the brain. Ah, oh, I just noticed. Leather patches on the elbows? That's not very rock and roll. Tom just lost his all. Baba Yaga got to him too, the damn witch. She used us all, taken from all of us. Took my thunder, the witch. And my ravens, what was, what were they? Memory and thought, the hag. She took something from you too, didn't she? That's what she does. No, um, we're better off. This place, the lake, it gives you power. If you're a creator, an artist, a god. Light may shifted in their sleep in the darkness of the lake. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. She makes sure it comes out twisted and wrong. Just ask the lamp lady. She knows what happened to that other rider. Oh, wow. She's been using you, boy, and you let her. You went and opened the door for her, didn't you? Now, now, it was already open a crack. And whose fault mm, is that? Excuse me. We're Ooh, morally corrupt, disease-ridden, old and stupid. Doesn't mean he had to open it all the way, goddammit. Ah, uh, fuck. I like listening to those old men bicker. It's great. It's nice. I go back to my room. Bad dream, and you can't wake up. You can't hurt a nightmare because all dreams are only imagination. Dr. Hartman was worried about the power again. He's checking on it now. The doors yeah. were locked. Good thing he's not Hartman and the nurses would have keys, but there was no way to get my hands on them. The storm's bound to make you know who jumpy. You know how they got. Gotcha. The docs got me looking after Wake here, but holler if they get too rowdy. I'll do that, Birch. Something's wrong. I'm not myself. It's hard to think. There's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Oh, I've been for days, oh boy. but it's always dark outside. 
My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark just presence like, is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. That's really freaky. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story at once, and the story will come true. That's really creepy, bro. Hey, Wake, why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? The typewriter's in your room. All right. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. <laughs> my hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, Wake, you stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Afraid of the crazy brothers, are ya? Not so weak now, are we? Oh boy. Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. It's my store. I'm taking it. All right. Hartman kept talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practiced hand on Barry's shoulder. I hope Hartman dies. I really hope Hartman dies. We're on a comeback tour, baby! Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy the old fart hit her hard. If she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. Destiny. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd been keeping Come me. Come out and face the music, Birch! It's time to pay the piper! Maybe you could come out and beat our wrinkled adult diapered asses, Birch. Since you're so tough, Birch. Let's go. They were on the road, man. The markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made of the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe. The parties, he's so angry all the time. He's getting violent. He's... Do you mean with you? No, not with me. say to him if he'd listen. I don't know. I want to say I look at you and it's not you. Just some stranger who resembles you looking out from behind your eyes and I don't like that guy much and now it's all gonna go to hell. But you don't ever say this. No. No. I try but he's not listening. He's too deep in his own problems. Always going on about something else. I'm so afraid I'm gonna lose him. And we're not even Aww. talking anymore. He doesn't let me in anymore. He just keeps me in the dark. I'm so alone here, even when he's home. Please help me, doctor, because I'm at my wit's end. Well, if you can just get him here, I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, but doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. Stubborn man I've ever met. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Aww. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut-up of this. Just a recording. Ah. Oh. 
Wow. Hartman wasn't happy. Mott could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it, and he knew it. The shame of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time. And he blurted out two days, less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge. But that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. What? Hold on, what? I swear to God, if Hartman is there. The photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Hartman had been playing me all along. Oh my god. He and them have been working together the whole time. Barry? Stuff. Ow! About time! Barry! Man, I'm glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the- Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea- Hartman, shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Mm. Oh, Al, let's just- Go! <laughs> Wake, Go listen Barry. to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The That's... spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning even in the water. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. Oh, I was being used the whole time. to find a way out. Whoops.
want access to thousands of applications? Verizon Wireless has you covered. Oh, jeez. Check out the latest games. Discover new music and old favorites. Oh, my God. Social networking, sports scores, news. It's all at your fingertips. No matter what you're into, <laughs> Verizon Wireless can satisfy your never-ending appetite for apps. Check out VCast apps and load up your phone.